In a previous video, we introduced the idea that radioactive decay is a first-order process and that the rate of decay is directly proportional to the number of nuclei in the sample. As a result, we can develop an integrated rate law that substitute the rate of decay for the number of nuclei. This gives us the equation the natural log of the rate at time t divided by the rate at the initial time, zero, is equal to minus kt. In this situation, the rates are often in units of disintegrations per some unit of time. This equation allows us to determine a new rate of decay after a given amount of time. This is the basic concept used in radiometric dating, which is a technique that uses the rate of radioactive decay in a sample to determine its age. Uranium lead dating is one radiometric dating technique used to identify the age of igneous rocks based on the ratio of the radioactive uranium-238 to the stable lead-206. Another method of radiometric dating is radiocarbon dating. Radiocarbon dating is used to determine the age of organic samples derived from living things up to about 50,000 years old. Radiocarbon dating is based on the fact that within the atmosphere there is a stable ratio of carbon-14 to carbon-12. As a living organism takes in carbon, it will have the same carbon-14 to carbon-12 ratio as the atmosphere. However, once it dies, it stops taking in carbon, and the radioactive carbon-14 will decay, leading to a decrease in the carbon-14 to carbon-12 ratio. Due to some variance in the Earth's carbon-14 to carbon-12 ratio over time, Radiocarbon dating can have an error of about 5%, or about 300 years for a 6,000-year-old object. For living organisms, the carbon-14 rate of decay is 15.3 disintegrations per minute per gram of carbon, and carbon-14 has a half-life of 5,715 years. Scientists can determine the rate of carbon-14 decay in a sample and use that rate as rate at time t in the integrated rate law discussed previously. In this problem, we're told that bones from a skeletal sample has a carbon-14 decay rate of 4.50 disintegrations per minute per gram of carbon. Given that the carbon-14 decay rate for living organisms is 15.3 disintegrations per minute per gram of carbon, what is the age of the bones? We're reminded that the carbon-14 half-life is 5,715 years. To begin this problem, we recognize that we'll need to use the rate constant k, so we have to calculate the rate constant from the half-life. To do this, we find that the rate constant is equal to 0 0.693 divided by 5,715 years, or 1.213 times 10 to the negative fourth reciprocal years. We now identify that we're given the initial disintegration rate of 15.3 disintegrations per minute, and the disintegrations rate at the current time of 4.50 disintegrations per minute. We can now solve for t given this first order integrated rate law. We can rearrange it to isolate t so we get the natural log of the ratio of the current rate divided by the initial rate and that is divided by minus k and that will give us the time t. When we plug in the values and do the calculations on a calculator we find that the bones have an age of about 1.0 times 10 to the fourth years, or about 10,000 years old. After watching this video, you should be able to describe the basis for radiometric dating. You should also be able to use integrated rate laws for radiocarbon dating to determine the approximate age of once living samples.